Whoa, what's going on guys? I got a new lens. Don't really know how to use it yet. Anyway, got a new lens, wide angle. But we're gonna be going into Bass Pro Shops. We're gonna be doing a video today that is, everybody keeps asking me for. Well, not directly, but kind of directly. They don't really know how to set up this Mojo rig correctly. So I'm gonna go inside of Bass Pro Shops. I'm literally gonna buy the exact things you need for a mojo rig and then I'm going to go home and in depth set it up exactly how you should do it so you know exactly how to do it and you are comfortable with the stuff you are purchasing. I'm actually going to buy the stuff. So let's go inside and let's knock this video out. What are you doing? Probably on YouTube, man. Oh, Very, do you really? Yeah. <laughs> well, here you go. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> you get to be on YouTube right now. A lot, so I kind of... So I... Uh, All right guys, just making it back to the house. I'm gonna go inside. I'm gonna go inside, I'm gonna get this video all kind of prepped and ready and we're gonna get right down into it. So, let's go inside. All right guys, so with these finesse weights, there is a smaller hole that is on the top of the weight basically. You wanna make sure that that is going up towards the rod. You wanna have the fatter hole on the bottom, okay? So now that you got this tube weight, on the line you want to take your toothpick you want to get it wet I'm going to slide that sucker up in there and pull it through okay as far as, it, as far as you can get that sucker up there now that you got it on your line you just want to trim the access from both ends all right so now I got it trimmed okay as you can see it's on the line. You could take this thing and you could slide it up your line if you pull, you know, it'll slide. The knot that I tie the line off to the hook, I usually tie a Palomar. Because it's a very tough knot and it works in this situation. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, so now I gotta tie it off. Okay, so this is about the, the length that I leave, is about six inches, six to ten inches or so is what I leave between the weight and the hook itself. Now the reason why I bought the flukes, for one, I use these flukes a lot, but they work extremely well on the Mojo rig, and so do the Senko. Uh, if you haven't seen the Senko video, I've already linked it beforehand, it'll be linked in the description. It kind of works the same with the flukes. When you're using the fluke on a Mojo rig, it is phenomenal. It gives it even more motion or more movement than what it had beforehand, just weightless. So this was a quick video to really show you guys on how this Mojo rig works. Uh, I've got a ton of questions and it seems that people are really interested to see how this thing actually is set up correctly. So here's your in-depth video. Later on this week I will be doing a video uh, that is kind of referring back to yesterday's video of I caught some good fish. So I want to make sure that you guys know how to catch these fish. I'm going to show you the, the ways I go about selecting the locations where I'm going. So I might be able to help you guys eliminate some water, alleviate some time on the water. So you guys can actually go out there and hopefully catch some big bass while they're spawning. Hit that subscribe button if this video helped you guys at all. Follow me on all social media, Lunkers TV, Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, all that kind of good stuff. <sighs> if you guys want to see another cool video, stick around for tomorrow. Upload every single day. Check this one out. It's one of my best videos out there right now. Until next time, I'll see you guys tomorrow.